welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. So yeah, this is a very familiar setup to which I am walking home from work. Uh, I was told that Allison had her uh, ultrasound and she f apparently feels very, very dizzy. I didn't even know she was having her ultrasound today. So, you know, how would I know? Because at first she was saying that she was so dizzy. And I'm like, uh, did you get your eyes dilated or something? <laughs> and she's like, no, I have my ultrasound. I'm like, oh. So, yeah, she asked me to walk home and, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm just going to walk home. <laughs> Even though I kind of wish that I didn't have to, but... Uh, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, I haven't even... Uh, uploaded the video I recorded while I was walking home yesterday. Uh, speaking of the time frame between yesterday and today, uh, we uh, apparently there was a res there was a resignation for thirds, so we a spot for a third shift is open. Uh, what else is there? Um, the new girl that was supposed to be here today <laughs> uh, allegedly grabbed her stuff and uh, went home. Why? I don't know. Uh. So, yeah. The overall department is down. We're now back down two people, from what it seems. I mean, new girl lasted longer than most, apparently. Because, you know, most new hires will, you know, apparently from what everyone else has been saying, they'll be there for, you know, the day. And then when it's time for lunch, They'll say that they're gonna, oh, I'm just gonna clock out, I'm gonna go eat my car or whatever, or I'm gonna have to go home for a little bit on my lunch break. And then they do that, and then they never come back. I mean, hell, one of the uh, transport people did that. <laughs> and uh, I saw him in the uh, hallway I don't know, maybe like a month or so ago. Uh, apparently he has, he's a dad now. <laughs> he went to lunch one night and never came back. He was like, the hell with this. So there's literally one person on thirds right now. And uh, yeah, uh, I should also uh, iterate that this person that apparently did put in the resignation uh, they were trying to get me to work for them. What was that? Monday night in exchange for them to have a Thursday off. Now, the only way how that would work is if that person didn't get switched over to thirds from second. Because if that person was on second, sure, I have no issue doing that. 
but if it, it deals with thirds that's a no-go that's a that's territory i don't want to enter because if i had to work thirds that night it would not sit well with me because then i would have to work that following well technically yesterday <laughs> Yeah, I said I was going to utilize these, like, paths when I was walking the work earlier. And I should really, like, do that. But the thing is that I don't know these paths well enough at night. And plus, you know, I don't want to step on, like, geese poop. Am I even on the path? Well, that's also that too. I don't know where the paths are. Broad daylight, sure, but at night? Damn. You know, at night, it's like... I mean, I kind of have a general idea where they are, but I don't know where they are. So this will save me a lot of time, I think. It smells like fresh water. It smells like a pond. You know, this is the type of smell you'd be smelling if you're out like fishing or something. I haven't gone fishing in like well over 10 years see you have to be see the way how fishing works see now i'm back on i'm on the actual sidewalk and i'm going to get over to the other side of the road because that's the side road i need to be on but but yeah here's the thing about fishing you have to be you have to have a lot of patience to do that but if you don't have a lot of patience don't go hunting don't go fishing even though i did a lot of that with my dad as a kid whenever he went hunting i was like yeah sure i'll come You know, sometimes he'd take the dog with us. That way the dog can, like, you know, find something. Okay, that's weird. That was even weirder. A guy just riding his skateboard down the street. I mean, okay, why is there a flashlight looking into that tree? But yeah, I mean, I I'd say I have a had a uh, pretty normal, basic, decent day at work. I have to say. I mean, other than that, <laughs> you know, new girl kind of up and quit. I mean, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen her on my way in today, and that was it. 
but I'll give her one thing. She lasted a little bit longer than most. So I'll give her that. But yeah. Why is there a bunch of like trash bags and trash? Oh shit, it's trash night. Damn. Okay, so I got I'm going to have to do that right as soon as I like get into the house. But, also when I get into the house, I have a new problem. Well, I mean, I, I have a problem, actually. Uh, like, the idiot I was, I pretty much turned, I, right after I, you know, I was about to, you know, I went to the bathroom before I left. And when I was, like, done... I was an idiot and tied a really tight knot in my strings of my freshly changed scrub pants. So, yeah, that happened. <laughs> I'm like, bruh. <laughs> and the fact that I haven't worn these with the knot... And like, not even like 10 minutes. Because at the end of, like, at the, towards the end of my shift, within the last half hour, I always spend at least five, 10 minutes going over to Cath Lab and changing my scrubs because you know I always do it's a lot better than just taking them off at the house and throwing them in the dryer so that seems a little bit of a hassle but <laughs> oh my god how the hell did I manage to pull that shit off by tying a knot in my string so the only thing I think I can do is well I literally have to like I have to like cut the uh, string off and hope to god I know where my other pair of uh, scrubs are actually I think I know where they are but they haven't been touched since I brought them home I think But, you know, <sighs> oh, yeah, tomorrow's also four twenty. <laughs> to like have a special video where I showcase myself smoking some weed I don't know but there's a really important video that needs to go up tomorrow <laughs> and I'm debating on if I should like have a little segment of me smoking to celebrate 420 now here's the thing I'm usually not the one to celebrate stuff like 420 because even though it's a, <laughs> it's a Stoner's holiday, it's also the birthday of one of history's most infamous evil human beings to ever exist, which happens to be the one and only Adolf Hitler. Yeah, he was born on 420. He was born on 420 in 1889.
And then like a hundred some years later, in 1999 on the same day one of the most infamous school shootings took place in Colorado if I recall correctly it's the Columbine shooting so is it really best to celebrate weed on the anniversary of one of the most deadly school shootings in our country's history or one of history's most infamous dictators of all time. I don't know. I mean, I really want to do a video on weed. <laughs> but, see, here's the thing. I don't know if YouTube will allow it. I mean, of course, if I end up doing it, I would have to put up a, the a parental thing. Oop. Okay, we're back at the house. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you later.